Okay, everybody, is everybody here who's going to listen to our fabulous little talk on orthokeratology today? Um, my name is Nick Howard. I'm a contact lens optician, and I work very closely with number seven contact lenses. We're going to do a very, very brief um, insight into orthokeratology, um, how to implement it in your practice and make this a, a profitable enterprise. Um, I like this next little saying. It's called getting all your ducks in a row. It's getting everything sorted out, everything in place, and everything uh, pre-prepared. And the first thing we need uh, doing any sort of uh, business venture, uh, business plan, is a solid foundation. Uh, and our foundation comes in the form, of course, of number seven contact lenses. Number seven contact lenses are very, very uh, innovative, uh, imaginative, certainly informative, uh, and a very educational company. Uh, number seven have a fabulous training center down at their headquarters in Hastings. They also do a lot of um, uh, web-based information. And they provide us the, with this platform, this level of uh, support from which all other things can emanate. Um, and the first thing we need when we're doing a program like Ortho K is solid levels of education. And who needs educating? Well, the answer is you guys do. But more important than you guys, your front of house staff need to know what's going on as well. Front of house staff are absolutely crucial and absolutely essential in the uh, information that they give to patients as they come in. Absolutely no point in uh, front of house talking to a patient who is plus eight right and left uh, for 20 minutes uh, and then it wastes your time when they come in the consulting room. So make sure that your front of house staff A, know what they're doing and B, they're talking about themselves in practice, online, social media, etc. Now, you can fit orthokeratology by fluorescein patterns alone, but you'll probably get fluorescein patterns like this. Now, if you're lucky, you may well get a fluorescein pattern like this, but the number seven system relies almost solely upon uh, this baby. This is the Medmont uh, E300, and we can fit orthokeratology simply from the topographical image alone. This is empirical Ortho K. You really don't need to know too much at this stage uh, about fluorescein patterns. But what you do need to know about is what topographical images look like. Now, the bottom right scares the living daylights out of me. That's a PMD. We don't really like these one too much. The middle one, we've got a nice little bit of keratoconus going on there. And the top left, we've got what we call a normal eye. And we will be doing a little bit of work later on with the topographer, and we'll show you a few uh, normal eyes and one or two not-so-normal ones uh, as well. But what's a normal eye in terms of what we want for ortho K? Well, the answer is this. Somewhere between minus 125 and a minus 425, with maybe some sills. But can you say we want, we want small sills? And hopefully with the real sills as well. But if you, if you hang on after we finish this presentation, we'll do a little bit of work on topography and we'll show you how to measure c cylindrical errors, uh, et cetera. Ortho K will expand beyond these sort of parameters. Uh, you can do much higher powers, but for the novice, uh, for the new person to Ortho K, this is a very, very good benchmark to stick with. And certainly within this power range, you're likely to get a very good early success level with Ortho K. Who wants them? What is our target audience? Well, I think the answer to this is active, uh, outdoorsy people, and particularly people who do things like this. They swim a lot. Do patients swim in contact lenses? Uh, we tell them not to, but they do. Which one of these two guys is going to be first to the ball? Red or blue? Red? Blue? Uh, I know the answer. The one who's been corrected with orthokeratology, he's going to get there first. He's got the edge. He can see what he's doing. 
Hmm. I'm not going to talk too much about this one because uh, my colleague Katie Harrop is going to talk all about young people and myopia control later on this afternoon. So we're going to drift on this one a little bit, uh, but we're also going to look at this. How many contact lens patients will uh, talk about dryness, prickly, itchy sensation, particularly towards the end of the day? Uh, the reason behind this is that your tear film with contact lenses in situ is really not, really not that stable. And particularly towards the end of the day, everything starts to break down a little bit. So your long-term soft lens wearers that uh, uh, get these dry, prickly eyes are fabulous candidates for ortho -K because, of course, daytime, no contact lenses, no disruption of tear film. Now then, how do we translate this information that we've got to the patient? ortho -K is a very, very difficult concept sometimes for patients to understand. We put a pair of lenses in, they wear them overnight, and they can see in the morning, but they don't always grasp that uh, too well. So what I tend to do with patients is uh, this. I'll show them uh, topography maps. And this is actually quite easy. On the top left, we've got a baseline measurement, a rather normal eye. Bottom left, we've got a treated eye. But the one that the patient's like is the one on the right-hand side. Now, this is what we call a, uh, a diff map. This is actually the difference. The computer takes the images away from each other and gives us a difference between the two. And you can see here we've got a good, broad, uh, central treatment zone. We've got the effects of the reverse curve on the edge. And patients really, really do understand this concept. And even if they don't like this two-dimensional aspect, the topographers will give us uh, a fabulous three-dimensional image. And um, we'll show you a little bit later on how we can twirl this around. We can do all sorts of uh, magicry and imagery with the topographer. So what's it worth to you guys? When I go around and about, everybody wants to know, how much money am I going to make? Hmm. How much money is a single ortho K patient worth to you? Well, number seven don't make any uh, recommendations on uh, pricing. That's up to the individual practice. Uh, but what we can estimate is that any one single patient will generate round about 20 pounds worth of profit per month. 240 pounds a year, and I'm getting a little bit in this one, around about 5,000 pounds worth of profit over a lifetime. It's about 20 years. Take into account family, friends, relatives, any sort of spin-off that you get from ortho, okay? And we can multiply that by around about four. I was chatting with a colleague of mine yesterday who was, who was telling me all about the benefits of persevering with a particular contelling patient, and the success rate with that patient generated four new patients within one month. So that's a, that's a reasonable estimate. Uh, the bottom figure is, what value is there in your practice doing something very, very special, doing something innovative, doing something state-of-the-art, doing something which is mm, almost seen as uh, groundbreaking within the, uh, in, within the high street? And the answer is, I don't know, but I guess that that figure is going to be uh, absolutely massive. So what do we need to prepare and what do we need to get ready? Well, I've done a list of things here, and it's not exhaustive, but I think it's, uh, it's reasonably comprehensive, this. We've got to get leaflets and we've got to get brochures in practice. Your website is the absolute major criterion for getting things right. Information, testimonials, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Handling booklets, uh, content lens solutions, and a diary management which can cope with the early morning and the late night effects uh, are fitting off OK. But above all, there's one thing that you really, really got to be prepared for with Ortho OK. And it's something that doesn't happen in routine practice. And it's this. The most profitable thing of all, very, very, very happy patients who can all go swimming. And we know they're happy patients because we know with Ortho K that we can create happy eyes. And we did a little bit of work at Manchester University a year or so ago. And we worked there to prove that we can create happy eyes. And I'm going to leave you with this little one. Happy eyes. Thank you very much indeed, everybody. Brilliant. Brilliant.